accused of shooting a jogger, opening fire on two other joggers in Buckhead, then running over his neighbor, now identified as this man, Galen Newsom. He's facing a number of charges tonight as the victims remain in the hospital, one of them critically injured. 11 of Lies' Brittany Kleinpeter has the latest for us. 22-year-old Galen Newsom is facing charges of attempted murder, aggravated battery, and possession of a firearm. Atlanta police believe Newsom opened fire on three joggers Saturday morning on West Wesley Road. Andrew Warhol's wife says he was the only one hit, suffering gunshot wounds to his leg and hip. She says while they've noticed an increase in crime in the area, she never expected something like this to happen so close to home. We've had, um, like, them doing the donuts and stuff in parking lots near our house. Um, you know, carjackings have been on the rise, but nothing has happened like this specifically in our neighborhood or, you know, in our neck of the woods at all. Just three hours after the joggers were fired upon, police say a man was hit by a car while taking out his garbage at the Collier Ridge apartment complex along Noble Creek Driveway Northwest. Police arrested Newsom at the scene and said they found ballistic evidence tying him to the earlier shooting. And yesterday, APD told us the suspect may have been undergoing a mental health crisis at the time of those crimes. But today, they are telling us they are still investigating his motive. Newsom could make his first court appearance as soon as tomorrow, and we will keep you updated on that. Good evening to my channel viewing audience. It's your man Shane Black, and I'm back. I want to talk to you about some activities that took place in Atlanta. Well, no, excuse me, the Buckhead neighborhood, which is a ritzy suburb of Atlanta. Yes, this happened sometime after 8 in the morning last Saturday. So, let's say last week's news brought to you today. But still and all, I want to talk about it because it goes all the way back to the whole defund the police situation. You see, actually what you should do is see. Go back and look at those protests. Look at the protesters who comprise the elements of that protest. How many of those protesters are Caucasian? And then, how many of those protesters look like they're destitute? Look like they're poor, they're broke? How many of those protesters look like just fucking criminals? Now, I'm saying, yeah, you know, you're trying to stereotype or whatnot, but if you can't put together a coherent sentence when a news reporter wants to talk to you or you want to tell them to get the fuck out of there before you beat their ass, yeah, it's telling me you probably have some uh, criminal tendencies within you. You see, these are the people who want to defund the police, and when you defund the police, Shit like this happens. You had Galen Newsom, 22 year old, look like he's nuts. And his actions prove that he is. He decided he wanted to go out for some target practice. Let me get my electrolytes here. Hmm. Got those vitamins V O D K A tonight. But you see, generally you go to the range and they have some paper targets. And unless they have the air conditioner on, yep, had to hit that edit button. So unless they have the air conditioner on, those targets aren't going to move. So he wanted to improve his aim and decided, well, shit, let me just go out and find me some moving targets. And he found three of them, which was fucked up. One of them was this guy, Wario. Uh, let's see, give me one second. I'll at least mention his name. I think it's in here. Andrew Warrior. He was the first one that was shot. 41 year old, years old, trying to keep in shape, going out for that morning jog. I do that shit myself, actually. Once the pandemic hit and then they closed the gyms, I just said, fuck it, and started running on the street. Because I live in an area where a running black man isn't automatically considered a suspect. And his ass got shot twice. Fortunately, he lived. Looked like within 24 hours, he was back on his feet. With a walker, but still back on his feet. Then, Newsom decided, okay, well, shit, I hit that one. Let me get some more practice. And he shot two more people. And he ended his 
target practice by using his vehicle. I guess, you know, maybe trying to do some Midnight Club 15 or something. I don't know. Grand Theft Auto 14. But he took his car and tried to wrap that motherfucker around a human being. And that human being was seriously injured. Which is fucked up. And this shit likely would not have happened but for the liberal policies of what was that? Huh? What? Keisha Lance Bottoms. Shit. When you set up a system where someone like Rayshard Brooks can physically fight the police 100% totally in the wrong, he'll be blocking the fucking drive through when people is hungry. It's his first mistake. And then when they say, well, you's under arrest. And you try to fight that your second mistake. And your third and final mistake was taking that man's taser and trying to shoot the other man with it. The other law enforcement officer. Pardon me. Three strikes and you're out. Rayshard Brooks is out. Galen Newsom probably watching the news, catching all that shit that was going on. Oh, wait. Hell. Let me get her name because I, you know, I always want to give y'all information. Erica Shields resigned after Ray Char was shot and killed. So, yeah, yeah, this is going my way. This is going my way. And then next thing you know, oh, hey, let's make Rodney Bryant the interim police chief. Because his, his ideologies will align with those of Keisha Lance Bottoms as it relates to letting criminals just go and run free in the street. And then let's start arresting. And then once he saw the officer got arrested, I can't remember his name and I'm not even going to look it up. Because it's none of your business. He, it, that shit got his, I think it's his mother or mother-in-law fired from her job. Why? She didn't shoot nobody. The fuck is wrong with you down there in Atlanta? Coca-Cola bitch. Either way, these liberal-ass policies letting criminals run the streets free, having the police in fear of enforcing the law is what leads to shit like what happened on June 6th. And you know what? Hold on, because I'm accessing the teleprompter here. The residents of Buckhead are tired of that shit. They had an emergency meeting on the very next day said, okay, there's some sort of city, well, not city council, what the fuck was that? Some sort of neighborhood coalition. And they wanted to form a separate entity. They wanted to form their own city. Why? Likely because they're tired of the shit show that's going on in Atlanta. They're tired of the liberal policies that are letting criminals right back out so that they can just say, well, you know what? The poor people, they ain't got shit. Why the fuck am I over here? Let me go to where the people with money are. Although I will say, because uh, I did look this up, the median income in Buckhead is almost $2,000 less than the median income throughout the entire state. But maybe the rest of Atlanta is broke and shit, and that's why they go to Buckhead. I'm just speculating. But let's get down to it. Shit is so fucked up that Atlanta City Councilman Howard Shook said that, well, he, he, he lacked the details about that Saturday shooting, but, uh, you know, violence in the city had become so frequent that there has barely been time to process one incident before having to address another. Unfortunately, there is too much of this stuff to allow the luxury of focusing on only one. What the fuck, bitch? Really? There are so many crimes happening that your ass getting shot is a luxury that I cannot afford to talk to the press about. I cannot afford to give them information on your particular incident because everybody's getting shot. Half of the people's getting killed or 25% of the people's getting killed that got shot. The fact that you made that statement, Mr. Shook, would make me shake, except I don't live in that fucking area. Bitch. And I do mean it. 
You're a bitch, Howard Schiff. Even if you yourself cannot change the laws in Atlanta or put forth, well, you could put forth some kind of bill to refund the police, to back the police and give them the full support of the Atlanta City Council and let them do what they need to do to clean up the fucking streets. That's what you could do, Mr. Shook. But no, instead, and as I said, it's uh, Buckhead supposed to be a ritzy suburb of Atlanta. But that's, once again, shit's gotten so bad they want to be their own city. Therefore, they'd have their own mayor, their own city council. And then they could establish the rule of law and order in their community. You also have a Buckhead Coalition. And the thing is, was it Jim Durr as president? And he talked about what happened to us and who is actually going to do something about it. That's the main reason why they want to create their own city. But I'm looking for something in particular. Give me a moment. I guess I could just keep talking about shit. Talk about the Clippers beating the fuck out of the Jazz. But that's because they knew that, okay, well, hell, that, that was going to be their doomsday if they lost. But I found it right here. Mr. Durnett said he gets the sense that they are experiencing a societal breakdown and there are so many guns that are available to so many people. The genie is out of the bottle. But this is what you need to keep in mind. He said we need to be policing our communities to keep us safe and also to work on the root causes of all kinds of divides. I guess I really should have left that last part out because only the first part was really relevant. Neighborhoods got to police themselves because they can't count on the police department. Now that shit with the root causes, I'm going to deal with that in my conclusion. But let me just get to it because that was what I really wanted. What I really wanted is somewhere down here. Oh, shit, I can't see it, but I'll just tell you for the most part, I'll paraphrase. They're talking about getting together private funding so they could get license plate readers, um, cameras, set those up on the corners and shit, and a private security force. Now, they apparently have money in Buckhead. And black people, the black, because uh, I see white people are like 81%, black people are 13.7, Hispanics are somewhere between 3.5 and 4%. But the black people in Buckhead earn median income a little more than 75,000, the white people a little bit around 65, 66,000. But if this is the way the world is going, where neighborhoods have to get their own private police force then guess who's going to actually because when the criminals cannot get into those well to do neighborhoods who the fuck do you think they're going to criminalize I'm going to say you general reader reader fuck <laughs> shit I probably need some more vitamins you general viewer because if you're watching this video you have a, a level of intelligence greater than the masses. And as such, you likely have money. I'd show you money, but my shit's over there in that little basket, you know, where you got by the door with your keys and shit like that. That's what it's going to come down to. The people who are well to do will take measures to see that they're protected. They will move out of the inner city and leave your ass there like escape from New York and escape from LA. Y'all can kill each motherfucking other. And they will be somewhere else safe and sound with the police officers who have left the forces in those inner cities, those large urban areas controlled by liberals slash Democrats. And let you fend for yourselves. Because I'll ask you, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Does Keisha Lance Bottom stay in Buckhead? Huh? Does Keisha Lance Bottoms have private security following her ass because some city council members and mayors can request that if they feel their lives are in danger? 
Do you have that? And the answer is no. Not unless you're some sort of elected official. Now to deal with this whole thing as it relates to root causes. The, the root cause of this shit goes all the way back to the home. It's my first video. It was a three-parter. And it had to do with the cycle of poverty. The cycle of criminality. Because if you got fucking morons raising children, well, hell, they're not even really raising the children. You have fucking morons as guardians of children. That's how I put it. As if you're going to raise the child, it's like a tree and you've got to keep straightening the motherfucker out. Because it's going to lean, your child will lean to the left or lean to the right. Lean towards crime. Lean towards, well, hell, theft is crime. But just lean towards shit that's fucked up and you got to keep them on that straight and narrow. As that tree grows, sometimes you got to tie it around a pole until it gets large enough, like an adult. And because you kept that tree tied up so that it would grow straight. Once it becomes an adult, you no longer need strings. That tree slash child will stand up and stand strong on its own. However, unfortunately, in the black areas, I won't call it a community. Because part of the word of community is unity. And there, in general, is no unity amongst blacks. Unless it has to do with voting for the Democratic Party because you got your fucking hand out looking for an entitlement. As opposed to looking for someone or a party that will give you a chance to stand up on your own two feet. I will give you opportunities, not money. Say it in the Bible. If you give a man a fish, he'll eat for one day. Yeah, well, maybe that wasn't in the Bible. Shit, I forget. Give a man a fish, he'll eat for one day. Teach him how to fish and he'll feed his whole family forever. If you rely, if you suck on that government teach, you'll be sucking on that motherfucker for the rest of your life. But I have digressed slightly. It all comes down to the home and the culture. The black culture in general does not treat education as a high priority. Many parents are not in the home. I believe it was Lyndon Johnson, I could be wrong, check it out, who implemented that welfare program that fucked up the black family unit. The worst thing that happened to black folks since slavery. Look it up. It, it's true. It's true. And then after you look it up, watch a movie Claudine from the 1970s. Let me start to wrap this up. Again. Until blacks, until black culture changes so that they value education in the same way as Asians do in general, then we're still going to be the dregs of society. And it has nothing to do with, was it, diversity, equity, inclusion, all that kind of bullshit. No. Fix your home first. Once you fix the home, then you can raise your child properly. Education, responsibility, pride. That's it, that's all. I've gone over time. And I'm